Okay, so I'm doing a video on Pokemon Go. If you don't already know what that is, then you haven't realized that there's autists that have been out in your yard at 3 in the morning at night. Basically, what this does is it's an app that puts Pokemon in the real world, so you go out and catch them. And yes, I am in my car catching a fucking Pidgey right now. It'll give you Stardust and Candies. Candies you'll use to evolve, and the Stardust you can use to power up your Pokemon. I think I do both of those later in the video. But yeah, you gotta go outside. There's a Poke Shop that uh, I have to wait to respawn right there. They're the uh, purple things. And next to that, there's a... I gotta remember what the Pokemon is, but that's a gym next to me. So yeah, there is a Flareon right there at the gym. It has a 721 power level. I would fight this gym, but, you know, it, they're good Pokemon there, so I'd lose. And eventually when you get to level 5, you get to choose which team you join, red, blue, or yellow. I'm on red, so enemy gyms, I can only fight them to try and take them down and claim it as my own. And what I'm showing you now is a Pokemon radar that's saying all those Pokemon are nearby in three footsteps. If you get close to them, it'll say two. If you get really close, it'll say one. So that's how you can sort of track down where a Pokemon is. And yeah. I also didn't mention that this uh, app uses GPS to track where you're going in the real world. Okay, so now I'm just driving down the street. <laughs> and yes, I'm driving. I know it says to walk, but I'm driving anyway. Although there is a problem with that. Uh, it won't. You have eggs that you can hatch, which I'll also show you guys soon. But when you drive, it does not um, pick up all of your movement. Like, it, it, it doesn't count some of it because you're moving too fast. So if I were to drive maybe five miles, it would only say I drove maybe one on my phone or something like that. And there's also a lot of spots for Pokemon Spawn that are in areas where you can't drive. Like, in my neighborhood, there's these back alleys that go in between the neighborhoods of two houses and there's some Pokemon that spawn back there <laughs> this is me missing that to execute and then stop in the middle of the road by the way I am catching while driving but it's at like three at night I'm in back roads and I'm going slow so leave me alone and I caught that execute they don't all catch first try these ones are pretty easy to get. Uh, if you hold the ball down and let the circle that surrounds the Pokemon get smaller, I think I catch a few more so you can see that. Uh, the smaller that circle gets, the higher your likelihood that the Pokemon will stay in the ball. You can also eventually get these berries that you can feed Pokemon to help make it easier to catch them. And at a really high level, apparently you get great balls. Still just driving down the street. Oh, those leaves that you see don't mean anything at all. Uh, I thought they meant something, or it might mean where Pokemon are going to eventually spawn. But for the most part, those leaves that pop up while you're just like walking around on your screen mean nothing. So yeah, this is a great way to get outside and be autistic by looking at a phone the whole time if you never go outside. You'll meet plenty of other fellow autists that also stare at their phone while catching Pokemon and you can become great friends with them. I am talking shit but <laughs> I actually really like this game right now. Although I do feel that if they don't update it with new stuff in a month this game will just die. Okay so I'm just going to show some stuff in the menu. Uh, right there that's your Pokedex. Basically what you think it'd be it shows all the Pokemon that you've seen. I'm getting near the shops while we're at it so I can show you guys what those look like. These are items, things that you can have, potions, revives, those are the berries I was talking about. Some egg capsules. And here, this is the shop. You can use real money to buy stuff, or you can slowly earn coins if you can obtain a gym. These are the Pokemon I have. 
and this is some other options to sort them by like different things. I like to use combat power. So yeah, now I'm just going to spin one of these shops soon. And yeah, so there's this coin in the middle, and if you swipe on your screen, it'll spin it like a coin. And then you get Pokeballs and other stuff, sometimes eggs, revive, potions, berries. Alright, so now I'm at a gym of my own faction, a red one. My Pidgeot is effed up, so I just want to put a Pokemon in there because I went ahead and fought it a few times to level it up. And right there on the left you can see the add button. I'm just going to throw in my pincer. And I think, maybe I don't do it right now. But there is a point in putting your Pokemon in a gym. It does give you bonuses. This is how you earn the gold coins that you use to buy the other stuff if you don't want to pay actual money for it. And yeah, this is how you use your items. You just click them and then it shows you Pokemon that need to be healed or revived. All right, and then I'm just gonna do one more fight just to show you guys how fighting works. Right, so now I get to fight my own pincer. You just keep clicking, basically. And you can swipe uh, right to dodge, but I think your dodge has a pretty long cooldown, so you can only swipe every once in a while. And now I'm going to get destroyed by this gold bat. Oh, right. Right here I gave up because some cop came up to me in the parking lot and he was wondering what I was doing. That's some of the benefits of playing Pokemon at 3 a.m. at night. All right, so we're back. I think now I'm going to show you guys my Pokemon evolving and how to do all of that. Uh... No? Okay, that's not what I show. I think instead I show you guys how to get the gym bonus. Hey, collect on that as soon as this loads. And then I'll evolve something. I assume. Uh, but I was having trouble loading it. That's the thing. This app does crash a lot. So you gotta, like, if you don't see a Pokemon a little, in a while and you've been walking for a bit, I would close the app and reopen it. So yeah, at the top right, there's a shield. And if you have a Pokemon in a gym, you click that and you get... 500 Stardust for every Pokemon and 10 coins for every Pokemon you have in a gym. And it has a day-long cooldown, so it's fun. And yeah, now I'm just going to show you guys how to evolve. You go into here, uh, I think I just evolve a Pidgey. This is something easy to evolve. Um, you can also transfer your Pokemon if you have multiples for one extra candy of that type. Is my battery dying? Because this thing eats up your battery. Surprisingly, it doesn't use that much data, even though it's using GPS constantly. Alright, so I think I just look at this and... Maybe I don't actually evolve it. I don't remember. Deciding whether or not I want to, because it'd mean that I'd probably have to catch more Pidgeys. But yeah, oh. Yes, yeah, so I can do the Paris. So I was, I was thinking against it, because I hate catching Pidgeys. Oh, so I guess I didn't evolve it. Instead, I just powered up my Pidgeot. There we go. 
And if you saw the bar at the top there, when that gets full, that just means that you can't power it up anymore that day. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.